Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I'm Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and this is going to be a collective message. Please like, 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 comment, share, and subscribe. Stick around. I hope you do stay. I would love it if you would. So, let's see here. Um, the energy that I was getting is there for some. I don't know if this is going to be the entire reading. It's just the initial energy I was getting. There's someone here who feels stuck in a situation. They could feel stuck in a relationship or they're just stuck in life due to their finances um, or career or whatever, like money can be an issue. So I don't know if somebody's tied to another person because of money or if they're just not moving forward in love because financial reasons. Um, that could be for some of you. And then carnivorous flower fairy attempting offer has a high price with count your blessings. Um, I feel like... <sighs> For some of you, if they're, if whoever this person is to you, like love wise, is in a relationship, count your blessings that you didn't, you weren't tempted by them, that you didn't move forward with this person. Because for some of you, I feel like there's someone that you could have been interested in. And I don't know if they were playing the field and juggling you and somebody else, or if they were with somebody else, um, whether you were aware or not. And it feels like feels like somebody who has partnered with another person or entertaining other options was tempted by you but I feel like you you backed out of the situation or this person backed out of a situation because you're with someone or because they didn't want to drag you into whatever mess they were in like they shouldn't even have been anywhere near you in the first place if they're with somebody I don't know I feel like there was someone who was partnered and they were, they wanted you. That's not cool. Not cool at all. All right. So before I do, well, we'll do one of these first. <laughs> all right. So what is the overall energy in love? Because I want to focus on love, but whatever other messages come out, come out, you know? So what's going on for love, please? Not a whole lot right now, but something's coming pertaining to a love situation. So that will be changing around. So if your love life is... Um, null and void, basically. Nothing's going on. It's just like me, myself, and I type energy. I feel like that might be changing around. We have We're Here and Breaking Dawn. Yeah, there's a new beginning here. Um, time for a fresh start. We're here. You're protected through this is what it feels like. Um... I feel like for some of you that there could be like a, a soul connection here where, you know, spirits kind of guiding you towards this person. Halloween could be significant as well. There's something to do with a costume or costumes. So I don't know if that's significant between you and this person or if it will be. Um, Cause it doesn't feel like wearing a mask or anything like that, but it's like dressing up in costume. Something to do with a trick. Being tricked in costume. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that's about. Um, maybe we'll find out. Being tricked in costume. Hmm. Okay. Anyways, that's weird. So, let's see what's going on. I'm staring at the word angel being tricked in costume. Maybe someone is a phony baloney, like someone's presenting themselves as being angelic and I don't know, good, and they're not. Um, but it really feels like a Halloween costume. <laughs> like dress up, cosplay, something like that. Because it doesn't feel like a mask. It feels like someone's literally dressing up. So maybe there's going to be a Halloween party or a costume party or a theme party coming up for some of you. Um, just depends on, you know, where you live and if... Because it doesn't have to be Halloween to dress up, especially if it's a theme party. Like, something's going on with something like that. And an angel could be significant. Maybe that's what your costume's going to be or... It was at one point, depending on if this already happened or if it's coming up. I feel like for most of you, if if that applies, it's coming up. Um, you know what it's making me think of is you can hide who you are. 
when you're wearing a costume because you I don't know if any of you remember but I, this was a few years ago actually probably more than a few years ago where those clown the killer clowns people were dressing up as clowns and um breaking the law basically they were harming people and just doing stupid shit because the mat they, they could hide behind that mask and no one knew who was doing whatever um it's making me think of something like that and I'm not saying that someone's gonna go around committing all these crimes but it's like it's easier to hide someone can be around you while they're in costume and you won't even know they're there so I guess with Halloween stuff and going out in public, especially if you have any creepers around or, you know, if you're concerned about that, just be aware that, you know, during the spooky season, that could happen. Or if it's at some type of costume party or something, someone could dress up completely and you won't even know who they are. And they can just be, they could be standing right beside you. That's what that feels like. Okay. Hmm. I just heard it's your protector. Your protector's gonna dress up? So nothing bad happens? This is weird energy. Like, I don't know. Whoever your protector is is a weirdo. <laughs> That's what it feels like. This is... I don't know. I haven't gotten a message like that, especially with that card. But anyways... Um, earthy spirituality, community, ocean conversation. I feel like, yeah, there's, this is like the gestational period between you and someone. It's very protective energy. I feel like spirit is protecting this connection for one and it's been protected the entire time especially from problematic people, but you've been protected. Um, there's a turn of events coming up. Because I feel like... It's almost like because she's pregnant. It's like this pregnancy is lasting forever. It's like, when, when are we going to have this new beginning? When are we going to get together? Because it's like nurturing someone, nurturing each other, nurturing yourself. And, and through healing yourself and working on you, you do help your divine counterpart, um, energetically especially. But it, it's almost like preparing for this new beginning because this is the new beginning. Something, there's a breakthrough in this situation. Someone might be finding out who the hell was wearing a mask. Because for some of you, I feel like whoever this protective energy is, this is, I don't know if this is separate or not, but this protective energy, it's almost like you could have looked at someone in a negative way. Like, oh, you're bad news because of the energy that you were feeling around them or whatever. But they were... Whoever this is was staying hidden and they were watching you to make sure you were okay. So you have a good stalker? What the f... <laughs> that's weird. That's, I don't know. I don't know if, that's a, if it's a good thing or not, but it's like someone... There was someone behind the scenes who has been watching you. They've been paying attention to you. It could be as simple as being online, but I feel like this person has watched you in person before too. And they could have been, they literally could have been right beside you, around you, next to you, but they were in costume. <laughs> they were in costume. Okay, they were incognito, basically. This person was in disguise, keeping tabs on you because they were... They wanted to make sure you were safe and okay. Um, especially if anything bad was going on. But I feel like that's why this person wasn't talking to you. That could be why they ignored you or ghosted you. Because you were too close to the problem. Or they were too close to the problem. You were too close, you were too close to the problem. And it's like I got to back up because because I'm not ready yet. It's not time to give birth. It's not time to have this, this new beginning or it wasn't, it wasn't. This has already happened. So you have like a secret admirer 
secret protector. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Yeah, air. <clears throat> I feel like I can't breathe all of a sudden. <clears throat> and air is here. Uh, breathing deep, entering into life, uh, exchange of life bringing energies. It's like you breathe life back into me. And this is the new life. There's a new life that's coming in for you and this person. It's like a whole new world. This is I'll save you energy. That's what it feels like. It's like, it's not just you take my breath away. It's almost like I'll give you, I'll give you my last breath. I'd give my last breath to save you, to protect you. I don't feel like this person has to, but I feel like they feel that way. I don't know. There's someone that that's highly interested in some of you. Um, and they're getting ready to return to your, to your world. I feel like this person could have rejected you or just pushed you away. And, um, they did it for protection. Yeah, you got, you got really close to this person at one point. Intimacy is beyond the physical. It's when two souls touch what flesh cannot reach. Prepare yourself for an intimate encounter. And this card is extremely intimate as well. I don't know. I feel like you woke somebody up. Whoever this person is, you, you woke them up. And you woke them up to like a new life. Like to all the things that they never thought that they could be or have or do or whatever. I don't know. There's a sense of inspiration here. But you got really close to this person at one point. This secret person who's been hidden right before your eyes, basically, at different intervals. Um, the number two is significant. There could be two people who are paying attention to you. Because this person could have also had some one of their friends or something watch you to make sure you were okay. Maybe their friend fell in love with you. Just saying. But anyways, there's an intimate encounter between you and someone. And intimate is, being intimate is different than just having sex. Whether you did have sex with them or not, I don't feel like you did. But I feel like you got, you got too close to the problem because that person was supposed to be keeping an eye on you. They were supposed to be protecting you, watching you, making sure everything was fine. And they were falling for you the entire time. And you guys got too close. Because they were drawn in. They were sucked in. You sucked them in. You sucked somebody in. <laughs> you sucked them in. That's why this situation is taking so long for some of you. Ooh la la. This is getting, this is getting hot. Getting ready to take off all your clothes. You know what I mean? Hopefully trust isn't broken in the situation when you figure out exactly who this person is and what they did. Uh, I mean, if you had an intimate encounter with them, you probably know who they are. But when you find out all the details of why they were around you, talking to you and the whole situation, whatever that was, you might get a little upset. Like, can I trust you? Yes, you can trust me. And then you realize that you shouldn't have trusted them because they, they could have even outed some of your secrets. But You weren't supposed to trust them, but they're trustworthy. Like, okay, so this is, this is, feels confusing. So say this person is supposed to be keeping tabs on you for somebody else. Like they're working, they're working for the problem. You're too close to the problem. You know, they work, they're doing something. So they get, they try to get close to you and but they're not trying to get close to you in a love in a love way or like intimately or anything but it happened it just unfolded that way so they got too close and that is a problem because of what was going on because of the situation who they're working for you know whatever for the whole reason as to why they were around you in the first place and it's like Ooh, this, is, this is gonna get out of hand shit um like i'm not supposed to fall for for some for work for someone at work which you don't work with this person, but it's their job to babysit you, apparently, unbeknownst to you. Um, so it's like you don't you don't shit where you eat. Well, this person did. <laughs> That's what it feels like. But anyways, I feel like they had to back away from you because because it got too close. Like, oh, shit, I, I got to I got to rid myself of these feelings. I can't I can't be too close to you kind of thing. But with the trusting 
It's like someone trusted them to do whatever this is. Keep tabs on your ass. And they were supposed to gain your trust, and they did. And I feel like you did trust this person. You could have questioned it, but you did trust them. At one point, maybe you don't now, or you won't. It just depends, or maybe they're worried about that. Regardless, they were supposed to be trustworthy with someone else who's probably paying them to do this or asking them to do them a favor, do me a solid, you know. Um, they're supposed to be like, I trust you to do this. And they're going, shit. <laughs> um, you trusted me with this and I broke your trust, but they're also breaking your trust in the process because of the lies. Well, that is a triangle of bullshit is what it is. Just saying. Yeah, trust is key in this situation. If you find that all trust is gone, someone will be forced to move on. Quarter. Something to do with a quarter. Because that just pops in my head. One good friend is worth more than a million bad ones. Be careful who you allow into your life. This could be a friend of yours. This person befriended you. And they shouldn't have. They should have stayed the fuck away from you. And they know it. Hmm, this is fucking weird. All right, I want a little bit on this trick crap. Yeah, someone just, this whole situation is very childish. This person could be, they could be very childish. They could be very immature. They could have acted childish in the situation, just saying, because they're a fucking sellout. This person was being childish with you and being immature with you because they have a secret. Because they're fucking hiding something. So this person was probably hot and cold, on and off, mean, pushed you away, ghosted you. Just, oh, I'm too close to this kind of thing. Because they don't want you to know what they're hiding. What are they hiding? Besides fucking keep a tabs on you or something. What is this person hiding? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, they they probably lost some fucking money. They're hiding the reason as to why they left you out, why they went away. I also feel like they're feeling left out of your life. They don't want to be... Um, they didn't want to leave you out. That's part of a secret, but what is this secret about? Because look, there's a mask here too. That's what I was talking about. Like, dress up. <laughs> <laughs> it's an adult playing dress up. It's like Sherlock Holmes changing fucking outfits everywhere they go so that you don't recognize them. So you don't recognize them. This person, part of the secret is they're, wear, they're in disguise. So that you... So that you don't recognize them. <laughs> there could be like catfish energy here with, with uh, like online um, where someone's under a fake account and crap like that too. Oh, he had his hand like this in the card, and I just did that. This person is secretly paying attention to you. Some of you are in love with your fucking stalker. I've gotten that before. But I don't feel like this is a malicious stalker. It feels like... Like I said, there's like a level of protection with this. But it's a really fucked up way to go about things. It's still problematic, is what it feels like. Um, you might have thought this person moved away from you. Like, they, they don't think of you, don't pay attention. They don't want nothing to do with you. But they know an awful lot about you. They probably know more about you than you even fucking told them. And you know what's weird? I was, I was thinking of this earlier. And it could be something similar. It's popping up whenever memories of mine come up. I mean, sometimes the energies can pertain to what had happened or whatever, but usually it's an example. Um, and I was randomly, because I don't know why the hell it popped in my head, I was thinking about one time when I was in my vehicle, and I was alone. Yeah, I had my phone, but um, I know people were listening in to me. I just know they were. It wasn't me being paranoid and all like, mm, and whatever. Because I actually didn't even care. <laughs> At that point, I was like, I knew I was talking to someone when I was talking out loud. Because conveniently, that doesn't happen anymore. I don't talk in my car. I don't talk to myself like that. But I felt like I was talking to another person, and I was. But anyways, I had said a lot of personal things. And 
a lot of fuck yous to a lot of people and I was just like, you know, if you don't like what you're fucking hearing, maybe you shouldn't be fucking listening, basic, <laughs> basically. And I was saying that all to myself because if I'm quote unquote by myself, I can say whatever the fuck I want because it's in my head anyways, you know what I mean? I know how I feel. <laughs> so, but that one specific time that I was thinking about, I was crying about past crap um, had, it pertained to my father and a few other things. And that was the time when my, my phone was going to die. The battery was like <laughs> at 10% and then my car battery died. So I'm like, Oh, can't even charge my phone. So I'm sitting there when I can't start my car and I'm just sitting there. And yeah, I did have a twisted T at the time. And I'm just like, whatever, I can't drive nowhere. I'm a fucking car. Is <laughs> like the battery's dead and shit. And, um, I was only one anyways, but regard, no, I had to think I had two, but it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't fucking blotto. I was just upset. And I'm like talking to myself in the car and I was just like, well, I guess I'm just going to stay in my car. I'm going to be fucking walking or whatever. Cause I refused to call anyone. I wasn't going to call for help. I'm like, I'll figure it out. Fuck it. You know? And, um, I heard in my head, in my mind, cause I do telepathic communication. I do not want to go all the way out there to get her. That's what I heard. And I'm like, who's gonna come get me? <laughs> and I'm not even fucking shitting you. That was the time when this fucking black truck, I think it was a Dodge Ram, a black Ram, had this huge American flag in the back and it was waving and stuff, whips into the parking lot and the guy in the truck, it was a man, started howling like a wolf. And I kept talking about when the bear growls, the wolf howls, and American flags, and Dodge Rams, and all that shit. I didn't get out of the car to see who it was. I probably should have. I probably wouldn't have known who it was because if someone was sending somebody else, I wouldn't have known. Because they'd be dumb to go themselves or to send someone I know. You know what I mean? But anyways, um, yeah. So someone showed up and I'm like, oh, that must be for me. Because <laughs> what are the fucking odds, you know? Oh, it's like something like that. Uh, maybe not exactly like that, but some of you could have even thought that, oh, I'm just so lucky. You know, like, I have the best luck. There's always someone around to help. If I'm in a bind when I'm not home, like a roadside assistance, it's not just AAA and tow trucks and stuff. But it can be. But it's, it's almost like you fall into a pile of shit and come out, come out smelling like fucking roses. Yeah, because this person's paying attention. It's someone you least expect to. Because for some reason I feel like whoever's protecting you wasn't originally supposed to be protecting you. They were supposed to just be keeping an eye on you. I just heard exactly. They were just supposed to be keeping an eye on you. They weren't supposed to be protecting you. They weren't supposed to fall for you. They weren't supposed to anything except for do whatever the fuck that other person wanted them to do. I keep feeling like I'm being watched, like I'm being recorded. And it's just the tarot uh, box, but it's the reflection when I move, like the light reflects off from it. And it, it in the corner of my eye, it looks like uh, being someone's being recorded so I don't know if somebody was recording you at one time or if they I don't think they still are are they no um but if you do record yourself or you have any recordings publicly rest assured this person sees it whether they're actually recording you or not um what well, the fucking shit balls yeah so it's just it's weird because I feel like this person was supposed to be problematic. Like, I feel like they were supposed to hurt you in some sort of way. But something changed. Probably because they caught feelings for you. They got too close. They got too close to you. They got too close to this Empress energy. Someone's paying attention to a feminine. To someone who is... To this female or feminine energy who is in her power. Um, this person is very strong. They're very loving. They're powerful. It's like... This person bows down to no one. And I feel like that's kind of who I'm talking to. Like, 
<laughs> I just heard bring it, bitch. Um, that's what she would say. Come here, peasant. <laughs> Let's have a chat. That's kind of what that feels like. Um, but yeah, this person's paying attention to you. There's conflict here. They were trying to start start a problem. <laughs> I was going to say, they're trying to start a fire, which is a problem. Where there's smoke, there's fire. But then the song, we didn't start the fire. It was always burning since the world's returning. That song just popped in my head. Um, what is this conflict? Could be conflict online as well. There's a sexual component online. Yeah, with the lovers here. This doesn't feel like phone sex or anything. This feels like someone thinks you're hot and they, I don't know if they sent you a, a D pick or they're like, Hey, look at my Richard. <laughs> um, yeah, they could have done that online. Um, that person could be with somebody, not necessarily. Yeah, because they're giving to two. Oh my God. I don't know what to do. This person keeps their options open because they were effing around, basically. But, um, <laughs> I feel like that could be where some of the conflict's coming in because someone showed you a side of them that, that, uh, <laughs> they shouldn't have. <laughs> Maybe a couple someone's did because the lovers can be a choice between two. <laughs> oh my goodness. So you could have seen, this empress could have seen two Willy Wonkas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, which chocolate factory do you want? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I gotta stop. So anyways, yeah, there's someone who's secretly watching you, apparently. They might be, uh, you know, and, <laughs> uh, enjoying the time, the alone time as well. <laughs> Why am I laughing so much? Oh, man. Because mm. <clears throat> now, I just heard in my head, you make me wanna. It's like you make me wanna get freaky freaky. You make me wanna do bad things. You make me wanna try. You make me wanna do something. Somebody, whew, uh, like, oh, uh, yeah, who hot damn. I don't know. I really like you a lot is what this feels like. Someone really likes you. I don't know if the Empress is like, oh, I'm thinking about, you know, whatever was sent her way or if it's the masculine. I feel like there's a masculine that's heavily focused on that Empress energy, but I do feel like the Empress would be interested and this person might feel ashamed because they know they really fucked something up. Yeah. Well, there's victory here. Victory will be yours. Action. Well, if you want to be successful, take action. Bring love into the situation. That's probably what happened because we have deceit here. Somebody lied to you about their feelings. You probably killed them with kindness. Because you know when, like, most of you don't fuck people over, but, like, in movies and just, you know, if you just know people, like... There's someone who's just like, oh, I don't care. I'm just, I'm going to take this. I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to say this, like, don't just get off my ass kind of thing. And then they, they realize that whatever was said about you was, was not true, that it was all a lie. When they get to know you, it's like, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have done that to you. Like you, you didn't deserve it. It's like, if you were a bad person and all that shit was true, I wouldn't care. But now that I know that it's all false and you you don't deserve this treatment, I feel like an asshole for doing whatever I did. Like, that's what this feels like. Like, I'm trying to think of an example, but it doesn't really. Communication, yeah, someone needs to talk. They want to talk, but they can't talk right now. This person might be trying to telepathically communicate with you just because that's the only thing they can do right now. But you know what? 
I don't give a fuck what situation someone's in. It's a choice not to talk to somebody. It's a choice to push them away. It's a choice to be involved in bullshit. You know what I mean? So whatever action was taken, whatever choice somebody made, if they ghosted you, pushed you away, stopped talking, if they aren't communicating and they're still choosing not to, um, no one's making them fucking do it. You know what I mean? It's like, is the alternative really that fucking bad? Is, like, your life on the fucking line? I don't really feel like it would be. I'm just saying. In this situation, it's... We just heard, yes, it is. But I feel like it's just someone's pride getting fucking wounded, basically. Because if you have all this information and someone had you do something, sometimes to do the right thing, you gotta cut your own foot off. You know what I mean? It's like... If you were part of it, you got to be like, all right, I got to own up to this. I got to say blah, 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 whatever. I got to come clean. So the problem goes away. If somebody really gave a shit, that's what they would do. They'd be like, yep, even if you never talk to me again, even if you hate my guts, you need to know and this needs to come out so it stops kind of thing. Um, you need to be aware for yourself because this person isn't going to be around you 24 fucking 7 because I feel like they're not even around you anymore. So if they were protecting you before, why the fuck are they not there now? You know? Is it just because they know the problem isn't around right now? Whatever whatever the reason is, if somebody thought they got away with something and they totally stopped harassing you, stalking you, doing whatever they were doing, this person still has the choice to come clean. And if they come clean to the right person and do it the right way, the problem can be eradicated once and for all. You know what I mean? Or something like that. Yeah, because someone's keeping secrets. But this person, I feel like if you are concerned about outing someone, if you're concerned about saying this, speaking up, I feel like someone's going to listen to their intuition. They're going to take action and spill the beans. Someone's going to actually spill the beans in this situation. They might just say it to you, or they could go to the authorities or someone that could handle the situation, whatever that means. And don't worry, you'll be victorious. If you speak up and you say something about whatever this is, if you out the truth, if you're honest, if you come clean, if you cut your foot off, basically, <laughs> um, or this person, whoever this is that's in the know of the situation, if they do that, there will be a positive outcome. Um, it won't fall on deaf ears and nothing bad will come of this situation, but a lot of good will. Maybe Goodwill is significant too, like going to a thrift store, going to Goodwill. Maybe somebody works at Goodwill. Oh, it just gave me a wicked bad headache and now I'm so tired. Where did that come from? Is somebody stressed? They must be really stressed or they're fucking high. <laughs> they're either stressed or high because those are like stoned eyes. Like, oh my god. Okay. Maybe somebody gets high. The high priestess. Maybe you're picking up on it. You don't even have to smoke. You'll still feel it. <laughs> I feel like if you follow your intuition, you can't go wrong. You'll, you're coming out on top, Empress Energy. I'm just saying. Whoever this feminine energy is, you're coming out on top. Regardless of what is said and done. Because I feel like you already know what the fuck happened. Whatever's going on. You know why this person ran away from you. Because they're fucking chicken shit. That's why. Um, it's not because they didn't know what to do. It's not because they didn't want to date. It's not because they don't like you. They actually do like you. They like you a lot more than um, <clears throat> you even think. Yeah. Because they want to be with you for a once. They know that a part a partnership with you would be stable. They know it. They want it. They want to take action towards this. There's someone that you've been thinking about that is going to move towards you. Or vice versa. You just know. You've always known. Whatever this is, you've always known it. You've always known about these problems. This person, these people, whatever it is. Oh, shit. Way bad headache right here. You've always known about these problems. You've always known who the fucking problems were, who the problem was, because multiple people. The book is also significant. Someone could have read your diary or your journal or something that you wrote down, but regardless of that, it could be a Bible as well. 
Why is this giving me such a fucking headache? Holy crap. Whatever it is you've always known. You've known the people, the situation. So this isn't going to be a big shocker to you if it's going to resonate. If it resonates, it won't shock you one fucking bit. You know exactly who I'm talking about. All the players on the board. All the problems, including apparently your love interest or someone who's highly interested in you and they don't think that they should be. They probably shouldn't be because of the situation, but you know, it is what it is. That's fate. <laughs> it was all fated to happen. It's all destined to happen. In order for this to move forward, proper communication has to come in. And I do feel like someone is going to take action and say something to you. Um, they really are. Could be a king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, not necessarily. Um, I don't know if that's their sun sign or not, but that person could could have acted like a player or, you know, like a ladies man or, or whatever. It's the equivalent. A hoe. <laughs> Male, female, doesn't matter. Um, hmm. Something to do with throwing rope. Throwing rope. Throwing ropes. Six of wands. Success. We have the six of wands twice. It's recognition and it's success. You successfully reached whoever this is. This is like attention. You're, you're getting this attention because of your intuition. So some of you could be very intuitive. I feel like this person, you got their intent. Okay, that's what it is. You got their attention because of your intuition. Because the things that you said and did are correct. Like, for them. Um, I don't know, it made sense to them. Whatever you said to them. Because I feel like you would have said this directly to this person. Or to these people. But it feels like there's one or two people that you directly spoke to. And they're paying attention to you because of your intuition. Because of the things you know. But they're not saying a fucking thing. This person... I don't know. These person or people could have death all around them. Like, you know, they could have dealt with loss. Um, no matter who those people are to them. Death surrounds you. You know what's weird? Is it feels like whoever this person or people are... Who are very connected to you. Who are paying attention. Because of your intuition. Because of your gifts or whatever. For some of you. It's almost like death surrounds them. Because the people they love and care about. Or people they know. A lot of people they know have passed away. Friends, family, otherwise. So there's like death surrounding them. But there's death surrounding you. If this part of the message applies. Because you're a medium. And the dead is always around you. So it's like who they've lost. Is around you. Which is helping you to connect, just saying. Because it's like I was going to say this morning with the show Ghost, the American version. Um, her boyfriend or husband, I think if they're married, I can't remember. He can't see the spirits like she can. And he was like, I'm getting sick and tired of being spied on <laughs> and being ratted out. Because the ghost would be like, he'd be like, no, I didn't eat that or whatever. And she'd just be standing there and the, the ghost in the house would be like, oh yeah, he ate the whole sleep. We watched him do this. He ate it right off the floor. And he's going, they're, they're right behind me ratting me out, aren't they? <laughs> and she's like, Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's like I hate this they keep spying on me you know you know everything so this person is probably paying attention to you because they're afraid because they know that you know things because the spirit is spying on them and delivering the information to you no matter how you receive it <laughs> and they're fucking sick of it <laughs> that is so good that's like that's epic <laughs> Yeah, I love it. Someone might need a vacation. <laughs> I'm just saying. <coughs> Holy crap. I just stared at the alien. I have a pen that has like an alien on it. Um, I don't know what that's all about, but <laughs> it's so funny. Oh my gosh. I'm going to stop breathing. 
<coughs> came out of nowhere. <clears throat> it is hard to breathe. What the fuck? All right, who is this? Yeah, there's someone who passed. It was, it was hard, hard to breathe for them. Uh, because it feels like my airways closing. Like, uh, this was a breathing issue. This was not like, you know, just being intubated. It's, it's like, I don't know if somebody had like COPD, uh, emphysema, severe asthma, if they went into anaphylactic shock. I don't know what the hell it was, but I feel like my airway is closing. I just heard it happen fast. So, someone did, they suffocated. That's how they passed, but it it happened fast. It wasn't like, I'm sitting here going, struggling. It, it, sometimes in the moment it can feel like a long time, but it was really short. Um, I don't know, someone passed really fast that way. Hmm. Is there anything else I need to say with that? I'm blowing something away. What am I, what the hell is that? The number seven? Is significant. Yeah, because that doesn't feel like smoking. Like, like when you blow out. I feel like I was like, you know, when you blow on something, you make a wish, or when something's hot. I don't know. Might make sense to some of you. Yeah, it's like blowing a kiss. Are you going to catch it? That person might be blowing you a kiss. Or blowing you away, blowing someone away. I don't know. Um, yeah, because I can breathe fine now. Now that I blew you a kiss, I can breathe again. <laughs> that was weird. Loyal, trustworthy, reliable, honors you. And then there's snake behind that. With love offer. I'm telling you. That I, I said that in the beginning. You trusted this person even though they weren't loyal to you at the time. So they weren't trustworthy when you trusted them. But you can trust them now because they're stabbing this other person in the back. Because they got the right information. Uh, this is a friend of yours. This is someone you would consider a friend. And they want to turn over a new leaf because they fucked up. That's really what this feels like. Like, oh, I want to write all these wrongs, basically. And I feel like this person is in love with you. Like, they're... It's... You did something to them. You touched them in all the right places, even if you didn't lay a fucking finger on them. You know what I mean? Like you brought this person back to life. You brought them back to reality and they want this new beginning with you. And this new beginning is right on the precipice of happening and the ball's in your court, basically. It's like, yeah, this person can come forward and say something, but they stabbed you in the back so they're afraid. Because it's almost like, once I know for sure, then the fantasy's gone, the dream's gone, the daydream, whatever. Especially if you say goodbye. But that's a, a risk that they that they need to take because of the choices they made. Some of you might go, we can see where this can go and, you know, you can prove yourself. And others of you will give them the finger, you know. And that's the repercussions of your actions when you fuck up like that. When you hurt another person. This person is just, they're a big scaredy cat, <laughs> basically. Um, that's why they're looking at you as though you're so strong and powerful because you don't back down, but they're a wuss. <laughs> that's really what it feels like. Um, let's see. Is there anything else we need to know in this situation? I just heard, yeah, they're 
big time pussy is what I just heard. Um, a pussy cat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Healing from heartbreak. I feel like a lot of you had to heal from the situation because this person did break your heart. They rejected you and now they want to start fresh. Um, reciprocity adjustments are being made. Yeah, they need to be made because they're not being made yet. It's like mm, I'm getting there because they're worried about your boundaries. They're worried that you're going to go, no, <laughs> basically like get the out of here. True love stories never end. So if this person's really right for you, they'll do the right thing and it will work out. A city could be significant. Someone could live in a city. Um, a protractor? Isn't that in math? Don't you use protractors in math? What the fuck would that have to do with anything? Oh, doesn't a protractor do the circle? The perimeter? Is someone... Is someone right on the outside of a city? The outskirts of a city? Oh, they might not live in a city, in a big city. They could live on the outskirts of a city. But regardless, yeah, doesn't a protractor do the fucking circle thing? I think it does. And look, there's a circle here where there's boundaries. Okay. It's like drawing the line in the sand. It's like, this is the perimeter. You go in a bubble, you're fucked. Someone might not. That might be why this person can't talk to you right now, because whoever wanted them to watch you is saying uh you can't cross this line these are your boundaries this person can't get near you they can't get near you so they're lurking <laughs> what's the shit like out of all these cards yeah, so, uh, I get, you know, maybe put salt around your house, do some protection prayers and stuff so that negative energy be gone because, okay, when it comes to negative energy and stuff, when you put salt or brick dust in your windowsills around your house, whatever, you cleanse your space with your sage, your Palo Santos, whatever you use, whatever prayer you stay, you state, um, whether it's in a book already, somebody else wrote it or it just comes to you. Um, it blocks out negative energy. So if somebody has negative intent towards you, it doesn't mean that they can't enter the home. It doesn't mean that they'll like turn to dust or anything like that. It's not a movie. It just means they'll feel uneasy. They won't want to be there or they'll be too scared to come near you. The perimeter spirit put up a perimeter against unhealthy people. And this person that could be why they're nervous. That could be why they're afraid to be around you. Not just because of your intuition, but because spirit put up the, the boundaries. Like, these are your boundaries. And if you are protecting yourself from negative energy, <laughs> this person didn't have the best of intentions. And until, they're in until their intentions change, they're going to be uncomfortable as a motherfucker around you. They're also going to be full of anxiety. So they'll get anxious and nervous and, I don't know, they'll feel uncomfortable as crap at your home, around you, if they enter your bubble. That's really what that feels like. And they might not know where this nervous energy comes in. They could get flustered, trip over their words, and say the wrong thing, and out their own ass. And they're probably afraid of that. Maybe they should come by. <laughs> so that you can find out what you what you want to know, you know what I'm saying? Because they love you. Some of you could be in love with the devil. I really feel like he killed this person with kindness. That's what scared him away. <coughs> <coughs> now I can't breathe again. Well, I'm going to be coughing my ass off for some reason. You scared this person away. Because you picked up on their their negative energy. This person could have had a dark cloud around them. I don't know, just... I just heard you'll feel this person coming a mile away. Like the second they turn their head towards you. 
even if that's all they ever do, you'll, you'll know. Your name runs across their lips, floats in their mind, you'll know. If anyone's planning any problems, if they're trying to be sneaky and lie, you'll know. And they know you'll know. For some reason, it's just like, it will be so obvious, it'll be like written across their forehead. It's so obvious. It's right on their forehead. You really do scare this person, just saying. Uh, you might know their deep, dark secrets. Anyways, that's what I have for you. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully it makes sense. Love you long time. Peace.